Let's bring in Marwan Bishara. Al Jazeera is a senior political analyst. He's joining us from London. Marwan, I want to go back to one of the points that Alan made around this letter. It was supposed to have been private. Uh, it's been made public. What do you make of that? You know, there's a good number of explanations, I guess. Uh, none of them are important, to be honest. And even this statement is not important. But be that as it may, you could say a number of things. For example, the Israelis are blaming the Americans for making this public, and the Americans are saying, no, 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 this wasn't meant to be public. Because if it is made public, that means this is a reprimand to the Netanyahu government. But the Americans saying, uh, leaking it perhaps, and saying it is not, meaning they want, do want to create uh, the appearance that they are putting pressure on Israel, and at the same time, distancing them distancing themselves from the idea that they might be trying to reprimand or humiliate the Netanyahu government in public. If there is potentially uh, that agenda around this message, are you then convinced at all that the U.S. might follow through on the threat? Do you think it's sincere? One would wish, but it would be wishful thinking in the sense that um, the Biden administration is trying to create a paper trail, and they've been doing that for the whole year. We we kind of you know we got in familiar with it, right? Uh, on the one hand, they provide the arms; on the other hand, uh, they kind of uh, present the Israelis with certain reservations that they make public. There's always some sort of a American reservation about this, that, and the other thing. While at the same time, providing more and more arms, more and more money and more and more uh, diplomatic shield to Israel as it carries its genocide and as it carries its war crimes in the West Bank and in Lebanon. So I think we should, by now, we should, we should, we should have gotten used to it. You know, on the one hand, they say they're concerned, which is probably becoming in our dictionary nowadays, the ugliest generic word one can hear. And every time an American say we are concerned, one should only roll their eyes because we know that when 1,000 children died, they were concerned. When more than 40,000 people died, they were concerned. When the Israeli expanded the war into Lebanon, they were concerned and so on and so forth. So it's really kind of a, a bit silly, a bit ridiculous, a bit transparent. It's not working anymore. This whole idea that, you know, they do everything possible, including now even deploying the most sophisticated uh, uh, military equipment that the United States have in Israel with American personnel, while at the same time saying, oh, we could cut your aid if you don't increase the aid. But we know from months already that the famine exists in Gaza. The European Union foreign policy chief told us that. The UN food program told us that. The ICC has already asked, the uh, prosecutor asked for Netanyahu and Gallant to be put on trial by the International Criminal Court for weaponizing hunger. And now uh, Mr. Blinken and Mr. Austin wants to tell us that the United States is concerned about famine. Give me a break. And I wonder if your sentiment would remain the same if we look at Lebanon a little bit more. Um, in the latest lines, the U.S. has raised again, as you say, concerns with Israel over their bombing campaign in Beirut. In recent days, it's also said that it expects Israel to target Hezbollah in a way that uh, observes international law, protects civilians. But we've not seen a concerted efforts to limit military actions. What will it take for that to be a more sincere message, um, perhaps instruction? Um, look, we don't expect sincerity from governments. We expect lies and propaganda and deception from governments. That's what they do. That's why they have spokesperson to deceive the rest of us so they can do their business in the dark. So. No one expects a government to be sincere about anything. And if they are, fine, but we don't expect it. That's What we do is we don't trust them until they are proven not guilty. So that's, that's the approach towards power, especially superpower like the United States has been involved in decades of deception in the Middle East, been involved in dozens, you know, dozens of wars. And, and certainly the last year has been, uh, you know, a major proof 
that the United States continues to lie to the rest of the world about its complicity in genocide, speaking out of both sides of its mouth. Well, on the one hand, supporting Israel fully, unconditionally, militarily, financially, and otherwise, and at the same time, expressing certain reservations and certain concern. The same thing happening in Lebanon. Israel is widening the war. Already one million people have been expelled from their villages and hometowns and so on and so forth. Dozens of people are, are being killed every day. Israel is attacking the capital itself. It's assassinated a whole bunch of people. It won't accept the pressure or the, or the advice of anyone. It's actually adamant on transforming the Middle East as if that is possible for the Israelis when they need to transform themselves. And in the process, another country is getting destroyed, just like Palestine, just like Gaza is getting destroyed and ruined. So really, in the end of the day, one has, needs to stop you know, hoping for sincerity. One needs to stop hoping for help, for aid, for uh, salvation, even for, you know, uh, American intervention, if you will, on the side of this and that, because it has allies, it has a plan, and it does see the area in a certain way where a nemesis Iran exists and it has allies, and it wants to teach the rest of the world a lesson that America can't stand by its ally, and we probably should expect more of that moving forward. All right, Marwan, thanks very much. It's always good to get your thoughts. Uh, Marwan Bishara, Al Jazeera's senior political analyst. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.